The former chief of naval staff and vice president, Admiral Augustus Aikumu, has been laid to rest in a colorful ceremony that was well attended by prominent personalities in the society, including the vice president of Nigeria, Nemad Sambo. Admiral Aikumu, who passed on at the age of 72, served as the vice president under General Ibrahim Babangida's regime. His journey to his final resting place started like this. Nigerian naval officers will in the remains of their fallen officer, retired chief of naval staff and former vice president, Admiral Augustus Aikomo, who died recently in Lagos, draped in Nigerian color, green and white. The lying in state took place at NNS Quora, which started with a minute silence being observed in his honor. May the soul of all the faithful departed rest in peace. Admiral A. A. I. Kum, Sir, Jesus Country, meritoriously aware for a better part of his life. We are indeed honored and privileged to have the body here. On behalf of the Chief of the Naval Staff, it is my privilege to declare this last minute respect ceremony to the departed. Thereafter, everyone started paying their last respect, beginning with members of the Ihomo's family. After a series of salute, the journey began to a Doe State, the home state of the late Chief of Naval Staff. The body of Augustus Ikomo arrived at Edo State where there was a large turnout of people on the street who came to receive his remains. PDP Chieftain Chief Tony Aneni and Governor of Delta State Dr. Emmanuel Odwaha were amongst those who came to receive the body. The service of songs was held in this tent. No doubt everyone here will greatly miss the late Admiral, especially his wife, Rebecca. There is a time for everything under heaven. There is a season. For every purpose. There's a time to be born and there is a time to die. The funeral service was held at St. David's Church at Iwa.
The church could barely accommodate the guests who came to join the family in saying goodbye to the patriarch of the family. Death remains in Zebra. And all born of women will pass through it, even me talking, either to eternity or to hell. The federal government delegation led by Vice President Amadi Sambo was at the service. Others include Chief of Staff to the President Michael Gadume, Secretary to the Federal Government Pius Ayim Pius, Chief Tony Aneni, and Senate President David Mark. Also present were Adam Soshomale of Edo State, former Vice President Alex Sekweme, former Governor of Edo State Chief John Oyegu, former Minister of External Affairs Chief Tommy Kimi, amongst others. Admiral Aikomo was a great man. He distinguished himself as an outstanding Nigerian, a soldier, a statesman, and a patriot. His former boss, General Ibrahim Gadamusi Babangida, was also present. Nigeria has lost one of his committed patriots. Personally, I lost a personal friend. Uh, I worked with him. We were both service chiefs together. And that's where I really got to know Admiral Ihomo. And I had no difficulty whatsoever in getting him to be our chief of general staff, subsequently the vice president. The service ended. Chief of Naval Staff Vice Admiral Ola Sahad Ibrahim and other dignitaries accompanied the family to the venue of the burial. There was an outpour of emotions as the body was lowered into the ground. friend, a mentor to me especially. A wonderful man who had a, a big heart uh, for everybody, you know, old right through to young. Uh, he was a, a very successful person uh, in many walks of life. Till we meet he was laid to rest in his compound. Admiral Augustus Ikomo's career in the military began on the 20th of October 1939 in Iroa Edo State. On the 1st of December 1958, he enrolled into the Nigerian Navy and was sent to the prestigious Royal Britannia Navy College, Dartmouth, England. He also attended the long gunnery specialization course in India, where he distinguished himself, culminating in his commissioning as a sub-lieutenant in 1964. He rose progressively through all the ranks in the officer's corps to the enviable rank of Admiral. Between 1974 and 1986, he held numerous appointments, including commanding officer NNS Dorina from 1974 to 1975. He became the chief of the naval staff from 1984 to 1986. He was later appointed chief of general staff and vice president from 1986 to 1993. 
Until his death, he was married to his wife, Rebecca Aikomo, and they are blessed with six children and many grandchildren. Never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Yeah, we've lost another great Nigerian. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Okay, it's so on that rather sad note. We end Metrofile at this point. But do remember to keep a date with us next week as we unleash those events you love to see on Metrofile. I'm Ogechi Kuwasi. Do have a blessed weekend. <laughs>